I was thinking yesterday that what would be if I could design a kayak right now, what would be my dream kayak? Hmm. Started thinking. And um there is no doubt that my favorite kayak right now is the autopilot 136, I would say, by Old Town. The 120 is cool too, but I think the 136 is actually probably better. And if I were to design my favorite kayak, I think I would base it on that boat. But I want to make it a little different. For example, let's start with the hull. I want that hull to be the same length, 13 feet and 6 inches long, but I want to make it a little wider. Why do I want to do this? Because I want them to design sort of a hybrid planing kayak hull. Something that could plane if you put a lot of power on the back, more on that in this video, but also will be efficient enough if you're gonna, if you need to paddle it for whatever reason, maybe push pull it, or maybe just use the motor in the front, that it will be efficient as well. So I want sort of a hybrid hole that is gonna give you a speed, it's gonna add a little bit of planing, you're still gonna have that kayak efficiency, and you're also going to have a lot of stability. I mean, the Johnny Bass 100 sort of do this, right? So I think it's possible. You could probably make it work. I mean, come on. Now, this is very important. I don't know if any of this could ever be done. It's up to the engineer. So the engineer have to come up with the way to make this happen. But I'm just going to give you my watch list, right? Let me start in the front. So the main problem that we have with the 136 and 120 auto packers is the speed. In my book, I think they're too slow. So what would I want them to fix? I would love if they could put some sort of torpedo-like trolling motor in the front, something brand new designed by Minn Kota, something that could go, I don't know, five, six miles an hour in the front and you still have all the goodies of a spot lock, autopilot fishers that you're able to plug courses on your computer or your, not computer, but your, I mean your cell phone, your tablet, and all the goodies in the front and increase the speed and make that motor super light. I think they could do it. And why stop there? Make that motor also go up. Like you press a button, the motor goes up. Like deploying it, I think it could be done. It could be done. Now, let's move to sort of the seating areas of this boat. I would love a boat that you could easily convert from a solo kayak into a tandem kayak, but I want this boat to be designed with just one user in mind. Not as a tandem, but just one user. But if you put the seats on a rail system that you're able to like, move the seat forward or move them a little in back and also adding the ability to add another second seat if you want to take your small kid or someone else with you that is not too heavy that would be awesome if we get those options like have those rail system now <laughs> i think i'm gonna leave the best for last i want to touch on the rail system for like utility tracks the utility tracks that old town uses are not the best right we know that uh i, I would like to see something more like you have on the Slayer Max, sort of those long utility tracks all around the boat, but I don't want them just with one bolt in the middle, one screw. I want them bolted down on each side, kind of like double-sided, right? And then I want all those bolts to be covered with plastic. So all you see is just the gear track on top and it's flush. I think they could make this happen. I want, I want that to be super strong. That like you could probably, I mean, this boat is probably gonna weigh 150 pounds, and then you could lift it with accessory on those gear track, and nothing will happen to it. That would be amazing. Can you imagine? Put an outrigger in there, or go trolling for like giant, super giant fish. Because with this boat, you're probably gonna be able to do that. Now, let's talk about the rear, the transom of this boat. I want options i want it to come with a rudder system but not on top on the bottom i want that rudder system to be kind of like the hobie outback where it's a kick up or kick down and kick up type of system that's what i want them to do now for the top i want that flat i want a flat stern area that will give you a lot of options for example i want a metal plate 
to be put in there. Metal plate with quarter inch inserts, eight of them, so you could put dual power poles if you want. And also something stronger, maybe half an inch inserts, put, put like six of them, that you could put a transom mount plate that is gonna be able to take an outboard up to 10 horsepower if you want. Can you imagine having this little boat kayak type of thing, whatever you wanna call it, with a transom mount that is super strong that you could put a 10 horsepower outboard in there and go like 20 miles an hour, I don't, probably 18 maybe. I don't know how fast you're gonna go, but you're gonna go fast on this thing. And if you don't wanna use that, you don't have to. You could easily remove that transom plate or never order it and you have the rotor system down there talking that when you're using the outboard that rotor system is gonna work as a sketch so it's gonna give you more like better tracking on that boat i think that could 100 percent be done and the way that you would do it of course you will have those that metal plate because it gotta be thick gotta be able to hold that and it's gonna be buried under the plastic and then you're gonna have the inserts coming up all the way to the top and you, you use what you want, right? You use what you want. If you don't want the option for the outboard, you just don't buy it. You buy the boat the way it came out. Just the motor on the front, motor on the back. But if you wanna have those options for the outboard, that would be amazing. Of course, I want all the extra goodies that you would expect. Like I want cup holders that easily drain out. I wanna have some sort of rod horizontal rod management system and also the ability to add to that that i could put power park on poles or maybe push poles or a bunch of stuff in there and then i want to have options rigging options along the top of the boat where maybe you could in the front maybe you could put a standing bar if you want or maybe on the side you could put up some sort of a different type of sitting scenario or if you want to put kind of like an umbrella or something like i want options all over on top of the boat. That would be some epic stuff. I think this video needs a second video where we go more in depth to kind of like, maybe we could start with the whole of the boat and then we talk about the other stuff. Like what I, this is gonna be like a general video. If you want me to do video number two and go really in depth and uh, maybe take a boat here and kind of like tell you exactly what I want to be done and maybe do some sort of like drawing or something professional done drawing maybe one of you guys could do this 3d drawing of this thing if it, it, even maybe we could even 3d print it and see how it looks in real life i don't know this could be a thing now let's talk about pricing i think all this stuff could be around forty five hundred dollars with all the options except for the outboard you get the motor in front included you get all the all the utility stuff the second seat everything else could be sold for forty five hundred dollars that would be super epic and amazing price i don't see why it couldn't be done I think like this will be like the perfect Kaya boat hybrid thing ever. It will be the best thing ever, for sure, 100%. So comment below, let me know what you think about all this craziness that I'm mentioning. Maybe you're one of the purists and you just want a paddle kayak, or maybe you do love motors. Or, I mean, to me, the, the, the idea of kayak fishing is not just like a little kayak with a paddle. It's more than that. It's the ability to launch that boat anywhere. And you can if you, I mean, if you are in an area where you're not able to launch a motorized boat, just don't take the outboard with you. Or maybe take it, just push pull and turn it on when you are uh, away. Check your local regs. Anyways, to me, the idea of a kayak, what define a kayak nowadays, is something that I could transport on the truck of my boat, on the truck, <laughs> something that I could transport on the bed of my truck and launch it pretty much anywhere. That's that, and it's not huge. Like, right? well, you have kayaks that are like 17 feet long, like for real. So it's not a size thing, but for me, for this, for the purpose of this video and this channel, a kayak is something that I could just put on the truck of my bed. Oh, on the truck put on the bed of my truck or car top it and I could launch it pretty much anywhere I want to because like I said if you in a motorized area you don't have to take the motors with you you could just paddle it and it's not a jumbo because it's not a jumbo it's not it doesn't even look like a jumbo so it's not a jumbo so you know done here